Realm Royale in 3 minutes. Sort of. Everything you need to know about the game. Realm Royale is a new free fantasy medieval battle royale from High Res, initially intended as Paladins Battlegrounds and later renamed and made standalone. You can play solo, duo or as a squad, feel or no feel, and find parties in the menu. You have a rank that increases based on your placement in your top 50 games and a level. There are no microtransactions yet, but will be added in the battle pass in the future. When you join a match, you get into one of the loaning islands and you pick a class. There are currently 5 classes, each with 5 unique abilities, a passive and a legendary class weapon that you can craft. Those crafted class weapons can also become elemental, giving bonus stats they can become fire, frost or spirit. You get one movement ability on every class at the start of the game and you can equip two other abilities that you find from chests. The warrior has a 5 health per second passive, a throwing axe as a crafted weapon, a leap as the movement ability and for the other four abilities a charge, a flask that heals allies, a net and a shield potion. The engineer has a 5 armor per second passive, a plasma grenade launcher as a weapon, a forward jump, fire bombs, a barricade shield, a healing totem and a turret. The assassin has a 10% movement speed boost, a sniper, blink, an ability that makes you untargetable and makes you move faster, a drone that reveals enemies, a bomb that knocks back everyone and a smoke screen that makes you invisible. The mage has greater effects from potions, a stone staff that throws rocks, a flying spell, a wall of flask that slows enemies, ice block and a fireball. And the hunter has a swap and reload speed buff, a bow, a roll, a shot that explodes, a flare that reveals enemies, a backward leap that gives you stealth and a mine. After you pick a class you drop from a zeppelin in an awesome map with a great art style and a nice skybox with 100 other players and the last person or team standing wins the game. You see the circle and should go inside it since it shrinks and if you are caught outside it, you will take damage over time. Once you drop you should look for chests, there are 3 of them, one gives potions, those that can be health or armor potions, one gives only weapons and one gives everything. Also there's legendary loot dropped from the sky. There are many weapons in the game like crossbows or different pistols, rifles, shotguns and swords along with the legendary class weapons. There is also armor, there are 4 types, a helmet, a chest, gloves and boots. Spells, weapons and armor can have 4 rarities, they can be common, rare, epic or legendary, each improving the power or damage or armor of them. For armor, if you get epic or legendary, each has an extra buff, helmet gives you cooldown reduction, chest gives you health regen, gloves gives you swap and reload speed and boots give you mount speed. Oh yeah, you also have a mount that you can use anytime if you want and there is no fall damage. The map is pretty varied, having a snowy area on the right with a few towns and an underground cave, a big town on the beach on the north, a western style area on the left with plenty of buildings, a castle on the south along with other towns and a farm, a fungal forest city, a swamp and a forge. Each big area has a forge, at the forge you can craft potions, legendary armor, a legendary class ability and your class weapon that you can only craft one of each per forge. Enemies can also steal what you are crafting after a 10 second priority cooldown. To craft you need to have shards, you get those from these enchanting items that you find in the world, the bigger the rarity the more shards. And to craft your class weapon you also need a kill that gives you a chicken trophy that you can pick up. Since when you get killed you get turned into a chicken and if you manage to run away for 30 seconds you turn back into a human. You can only do this 3 times per match, Know that when you move you make noises and if you stand still you are quiet. And that's everything you need to know and everything that there is in the game at the time. The game just came out and more things will be added along with cosmetics. I think it's a really good game, I've actually wanted to make a game similar to this since last year with a few friends, a medieval fantasy game but with no guns, with dragons and a floating island and more. But at the core it's pretty similar to what Realm Real became, so give it a shot and let me know if this video helped you. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon, bye bye.